Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Um, I'm losing my brain. Sorry, y'all. Uh, got a good one today. Gonna get into a, a fight I like a lot. That I, I thought the odds were pretty decent on, and this is a nice little bet we can make some money on. We can throw in our part line. I'm gonna look at because I wasn't really familiar with the uh, with the opponent, and I've got to look at in their how how was it. These names, Inder Bassi is. I'm, I'm guessing that's right. I got to take a look at him. Not, not, not thoroughly impressed. Typical British fighter. And I don't mean that to be insulting. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Three D Boxing, Three D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. The boxing book comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money. How to bring down the house. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's just five dollars a month. We got a brand new Patreon today. Shout out to Christian Garcia, who just became a Patreon. Uh, he's gonna get the lock of the week. He's gonna get to ask the bookie anything. He's gonna be able to request any fight that you want, and he's gonna uh, be able to get the updated props and all the best gambling tips in the world. So shout out to him. Also subscribe to Other Time Texas Boxing. Seeing that's Texas Boxing. See all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, Let's get into today's show. Sean Notes, decent prospect, strong shotgun jab. He stands in front of you. He can slip shots a little bit. Um, he, he, he's been trained pretty well, pretty decent fighter, pretty good ring IQ, smart-ish guy. Um, you know, not hyper-athletic, kind of slow and plotting, but he's got a little bit of movement to him, a little bit of slippery to him. Good power, and he commits to his shots. He's got a a, a, a he stays busy and, and behind his jab, and the jab is his best shot. He sets everything up off the jab. He fires off the, shot, uh, the jab, but he can affect you. He can blind you. He can do a lot of things with his jab that he really, really sets everything up with. Like I said, he's a little bit slow, a little bit mechanical. He's not setting any records for athleticism, that's for sure. Has decent skills, and he's pretty fundamentally sound. You can see He's been trained well. You can see the fundamentals in there. You can see he's from a fighting family. You can see he's been born to do this, and he's been trained at a very young age to do this. He's just not hyper-athletic, and that's going to come back to buy him a little bit at the highest level. Fortunately for him, Indor Bassi is not anywhere near the highest level, not to throw shade at him, but uh, Noakes is a really sharp jab, and he keeps it on you, and he keeps it on you, and he, and he changes it up. It's a very educated jab. He knows how to jab. That's for sure. And he knows how to use his shots off of the jab. As uh, strong as an ox. He, I mean, he this guy's a Brahma bull. He, he comes forward. He can weigh you down. He can put pressure on you. He can he can walk you backwards. He can walk you down. And then he can really start to deliver shots and really break it down. He mixes up head and body. Uh, good power on the right hand. Uh, he throws it super hard. He throws the right hand. He commits to it. He throws it hard. He's an excellent finisher. You know, for what he is, he's a good fighter, right? Like he's a, he's got what I call slow white guy problems. He's slow. Uh, he's not hyper athletic. He's a little bit mechanical, but he he's fundamentally skilled. He's, he has a really good jab, and he commits to his shots. It's going to carry him to a certain level. It's going to carry him through this domestic level. It's going to carry him into the European level. Does it carry him to the world level? I don't think so, but we we don't know that yet for sure. Really good straight right hand. Super aggressive. Doesn't have a lot of lateral movement. You know, it, it's it's in, out. He can slip, slide. He can make you miss. He can duck. Uh, and then he doesn't, he's not much of a counter puncher, right? He's not really countering like that. He's in front of you and he can make you pay and he likes to lead and he likes to go first. I, I think he's good. If I'm rating him, I rate him as a European level fighter. Um, Inder, uh, Inder Bassi, like I said, typical British fighter. Long range, he's got good height, fundamentally sound. He can box a bit. He's not a terrible boxer. He stays behind a, a high eye guard, and, and he likes to come forward. Uh, he's not. He doesn't have great speed. He doesn't have great foot. He doesn't have great foot, foot speed. He doesn't have great hand speed. He's not super slippery. He's not super elusive. He's just really basic. He mixes levels well while he goes to the body, and he's basic. Like he's a boxing tape, right? Like he's an instructional video. 
with nothing special. He, he doesn't hit. He's got one knockout and 12 wins. He doesn't commit two shots. He doesn't sit, sit down on his punches. He doesn't really mix up combinations. He's got an amateur style where if you, okay, he's probably a decent amateur, but that's really where he maxes out. Like no pop at all. And he doesn't even try to hurt you. He throws what I call throws scoring arm punches, right? Like they're, they're not, there's no intention on him. He's basically fencing. And I don't mean this to be insulting to him. But there's nothing, there's no intention, and there's there, there, there's there's no purpose behind any of his shots. He's just throwing shots to score to, to land points, right? Like, that's it. Um, nice sharp jab. Doesn't take chances. He doesn't open up. Good foot movement in and out. He creates distance. He can use that distance well. Like, he's not a terrible fighter. He's just, like, there's nothing next level about him. Like, if I'm scouting him, like, okay. All right, you know how to fight. Anything else? No. Okay, next. Like that's kind of how I feel about him. Just isn't going to be enough. Like what he does against Noakes, it's not going to be enough. He stays calm and composed. You got a good brain. Got a good head on him. Uh, you know, good ring IQ, good ring generalship. Not a ton of lateral movement. Not a ton of speed. No power to speak of. He doesn't commit to his shots. He doesn't try to hurt you. He's just in there trying to outscore you. And you know, against some of the competition, he's fought. It's good enough. But it's, it's Noakes, Noakes is in there. Noakes is real. Noakes is going to hurt him. Um, Noakes may stop him. Uh, but let's take a look at the odds. Let's take a look at the props here. Oh, this is moving all the way up. This is moving all the way up. Noakes is now at minus 650. I don't love that. Noakes is at minus 650. I would make this a one and a half times bet. Uh, it, it opened up. It was like minus 475. It's really, really swung. A $150 bet is going to make you 23 or 7. It's not a great standalone bet anymore as that's continued to move. I would take Noakes. Uh, he's going to be in my parlay. I, I think this is a, a great fight to add to your parlay. Help bring down the odds just a little bit. I like this a lot as a parlay bet. Uh, there's no money on, on a stoppage. If they do add it tomorrow, hop on over to Patreon. $5 a month. Link is in the description. I'm going to show you how to make money on the stoppage or on the under as well. I think this is a good stop, a good candidate for stoppage. Basti can't keep Noakes off of him. And eventually, I like Noakes by late stoppage. All right, let me know what you guys think. I like Noakes on the money line, minus 650. I also like it by stoppage. No prop for that yet. Uh, 150 makes you 23, but more importantly, we're going to add this to our parlay, help bring down some odds. Um, that's it. It's that simple. So it is, what is it? July 25th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.